What's going on guys, Dorko back again, I hope you are fantastic today and today I want to discuss to you guys about is the source code on scottgames.com Now if you remember last episode where we did a little analysis about the new animatronic which looks to be Ennard um, or the out of service character because this is not going to be used to perform, it's absolutely destroyed and it also backs up this theory on the source code um, A user on Reddit and a close friend of mine called Popgoes um, or Kane um, made a diagram or a graph on what the source code could mean and it does make a lot of sense and I've done abbreviation research on what the source code means and it makes perfect sense so if you look on the source code um, it's a, it's a, it looks like jumble but by step by step it makes sense so before I say anything else if you want to look at the source code uh, you can right click and inspect element or click control U and you'll see the source code on the website and you can see it just looks like a bit of jumble but it says like animatronic 01 B like BBY and then it says like um, M -A -D M -N -D -B -K -D, uh, T U S T T U E A V L stuff like that um, and it will make sense as I go on to it but if you look further as well, it says animatronic 02, bit Ballora, animatronic 03, FTF, which is Funtime Foxy, animatronic 04, FTF again, which could be Funtime Freddy, one of the two, um, and the final one, animatronic 05, OOS. Um, and OOS is an abbreviation for out of service, which is probably this animatronic from the teaser, as we can see. This guy is definitely out of service. This is not going to be used on stage as a performance. Look at it. It's atrocious. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, but so, yeah, um, if you actually look at the animatronic 05 out of service, it doesn't have any dates on after that. It's just complete nothingness, as you can see on the graph shown here. Once again, made by Pop Goes. So, the out of service animatronic 05 is not being used, and proof of that is that, as you can see, there's no dates or anything. So there's no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is a schedule, guys. This is a schedule for the animatronics. And more proof on that is with the BKD, the AVL, the PVT, and the MAT are all abbreviations for different schedule bookings. So BKD stands for booked. AVL stands for available. PVT could possibly mean private, like a private hire. And MAT is maintenance. Now, in all of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, um, on the like last day or the custom night, um, it's maintenance. Like the animatronics are being looked after and repaired and maintained uh, for the rest of, for the next week. And that's the same in the Five Nights at Freddy's games, guys. The custom night that is technically maintenance, even though it's custom night uh, for the night guard. It's maintenance in the FNAF lore. So, MAT stands for maintenance. Now, all of the animatronics are never um, performed on Sunday, which makes complete sense. So, if you look on the graph as well, um, all the animatronics seem booked and available on different days. Um, for Saturday, which is really interesting, only Baby and Ballora are available on the Saturday for private. The Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy are again there for maintenance, which is really interesting. Now, there's been some theories that the private could be like literally private where the two humanoid women characters are actually being used for a private hire um, in that lewd sense or it could actually mean just a private party like a, a very very private party um, but again it still doesn't make sense because if parties are being booked wouldn't that mean that it would just be saying it's booked so there's a little bit of um strangeness to why something needs to be booked privately um, when all the other throughout the days of the weeks they're just being booked anyway so let me know what you guys think about that I don't think it's going to be in that lewd sense, it could be I mean, who knows um, I have no idea, I don't think Scott would do that, I mean it is a kids game, ish um, I know this. <laughs> I know it's um, violent and everything, but I don't know. I have no idea. Like I did say, they are girl animatronics, but I just don't see. For me personally, anyway, I would not want to privately hire 
animatronics and um, do lewd things with them because for a start, they don't really look that lewd and sexualized to me. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think about that. So all the animatronics seem to be booked and available, booked available and maintenance. Now, uh, this is what I think could be interesting. This sister location does not look like a place where kids come and be entertained. It looks absolutely nothing like a pizzeria or a place where you have parties, to me anyway. Maybe um, the elevator, what seems to be in the trailer, maybe there is a, an above floor um, where the location is and that's where kids are entertained and stuff. Um, so when someone has a party at that location, they choose what animatronics they want on the stage or something. Does that make sense? Um, and then down below is where they're stored and kept and man maintained. Um, that's what it could be. So, but during the night time, if we are a night guard at the night time, all the animatronics are stuffed back down below where they're maintained. But they're only out during the day. They get moved upstairs during the day. Or it could be another option where this location is just a storage maintenance facility and someone calls and says, hey, my kid John has got a party next week. Can I book Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy to come along and entertain them? So the uh, employees get the two animatronics and get them out of the storage for maintenance facility and take them to that um, party. So it could be like a booking service where they book the animatronics to go to different parties throughout the week. Or like I said, it could be uh, a pizzeria still and ab uh, above the maintenance facility that goes with the elevator. That's why the elevator is so big. It's massive. If it is an elevator, it's massive. And it would need to be massive to put the animatronics into the elevator to go up and then put onto the stage. So that would, that I've, I think they're both really interesting um, theories to go for. Um, I actually, again, really like the idea that the storage maintenance facility is below and the pizzeria party place is above and we're the night guard below, down below. We're like the technician guy who looks after them during the nights. Um, but who knows, it could be either one or it could be neither. Um, but I really like the theory that the animatronics are being booked um, and as you can see, the schedule below shows by the looks of it that they're being booked, available, private hire and maintenance on the Sunday. I really like it and um, it's interesting. So let me know what you guys think about this schedule booking theory and whether you think this place um, is just a storage maintenance facility or it is a maintenance facility but above the facility there's the party location. Either way, I really like both theories. And But the thing is, why would the call a storage facility a sister location? Surely it would have to be like a party or a pizzeria or something like that, not just a storage facility. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think, because these, these animatronics look like performing characters. I mean, you've got Funtime Freddy with the hand puppet, you've got a dancer, you've got like a ringleader, and you've got Funtime Foxy. You know, and Ennard, um, Ennard is just complete garble and out of order. I don't know what the hell happened to him, but um, in the little office facility, you see a little puppet with a, um, a, a magician um, with a wand as well. That's performing. That's what you see at parties. Do you, does that make sense to you guys? It certainly does to me um, that these, got, these guys could be um, performing booked animatronics, what you hire and pay for. And, you know, maybe Fazbear Entertainment, or if it is still Fazbear Entertainment, wanted to do something different. Um, you know, so let me know what you guys think. I really like this theory of the schedule booking facility thing. Um, I love it. Uh, I really hope, I really, I think it'd just be awesome if it actually was. Uh, whether it's the just private hire booking facility, maintenance room uh, facility, where they get shipped off to other parties, or we're actually below an actual party location. So let me know what you guys think. Lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.